second-hand coat I want a yacht, not a cheap little boat I tell my daddy not to be depressed All I need for happiness is the best I want a dime and nothing else has appeared And when it comes to men, you know how I feel I want a real man Give me a real man, you know what I mean What I need. <laughs> hey, we all said we're gonna have a fun show. <laughs> yeah, we're done. about the technical difficulty. <laughs> Hey, welcome to Real Men. This is the show where men get real. I'm your host, Tim Steves, and we've assembled an all-star group of yakkers to get down to what's really wrong. Let's meet them. Chuck Burns here today. Good nice to see to you, Chuck. You. Hello. <laughs> How are you? Also, the lovely and talented Ted Dykstra is in the house. I feel lovely. Thank nice you. to see you, Ted. And Kate Ashby is here. I should have saved... Lovely and talented. For you, exactly. Yes. Sorry about that. Happens and Steve Brinder has joined us as well. Nice to see you, Steve-O. And a man? very special guest, Jason Priestley, has dropped in. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Thanks thank for you, coming in, nice. Jason. Thank you for having me back, Brittany. Oh, you. <laughs> Ooh, that Jason Priestley. Oops, and we're I gonna, did it again. <laughs> we're going to start the segment with a commentary from Steve Brinder. Go ahead, Steve-O. Hey, if you're a father who doesn't pay child support, you're called a deadbeat dad. Some of these guys are lowlifes. They just take off and they just leave their family alone, they don't care about them. But what about the fathers who want to pay child support, but they can't, they lose their job, you know, the payments are too high. Should these guys be called deadbeat dads too? And what about the 90% of the guys who actually pay child support on a regular basis? They're getting a bum rap too. So today's topic is, are all men involved in child support suspect of being deadbeat dads? What do you think, Timmy? Uh, I, I don't know, Steve. I'm still freaked out. Jason called me Brittany. So. <laughs> it's only because of the headset. It's not because I've turned 18 five years in a row on Entertainment Tonight. <laughs> hey, Ted, uh, get, get us started, Ted. What do you think? Well, the whole alimony thing kind of reminds me of the Chris Rock riff on, on his friends who go, you know, I've never been to jail. And, and he's going, that, you're not supposed to go to jail. That doesn't make you a wonderful guy or anything like that. And I think... The, the dads who kind of go, I always pay my alimony. Well, you know what? That doesn't mean you're a great dad either. Like you, you're just you're, doing what you're supposed to do. You're just mm -hmm. doing what you're supposed to do. And probably if that's all you're doing, that's not being a father either. Mm -hmm. That's just giving somebody money. But that's, a lot of times you know, you're not allowed to do anything. You're just told to get out of the house, just leave the check. You don't even decide what the money goes towards. You leave it for your wife. And we all suspect that the guy, because he leaves, he's the guy whose fault. Here. But really what we're talking about then is an, is an, in, an, an inequality in the, in, in the legal system where, where the legal the legal system now is sort of set up where the guy is always wrong, the woman always gets the right. kids, no matter if she's an unfit mother. She, you know, I, I know someone in exactly the reverse situation where the kids are with a horrible father right. who only wants to hurt the mother right. by keeping the children because he knows he wants to, that she wants her children more than anything else in the world. And the best way to hurt her is he's, he's lied about some stuff and he's got, I mean, so it, it works every way. Right. I mean, what do you think the, of the, that attitude, Kate? I think that it's, I think it's really sad. I think that what ends up happening is that relationships when they go bad, they take them out on the kids and, and the mothers are expecting this money and it's not about time and commitment with the kids. It becomes about the, t the couple. It and is. A, and it's, it's a, it's, all it is is it's a way of extending the argument. Mm -hmm. yeah. The reason you got divorced is because you were fighting all the time. Yeah. And, it's a, and it's just another thing to fight over. I mean, I watched my parents go through it. Mm -hmm. and, you know, and, and, it, and it wasn't that my dad didn't want to support his kids. It's that he didn't want his ex-wife spending the money on her. Yes. Mm -hmm. But don't you that think that people, people are having kids and they don't really know what they're doing? Yes. Like, like wouldn't it be Most nice if they stopped having kids before you're ready to have yes. kids? Yes. And abstinence yes. is the perfect birth yes. control. And I mean, abs come on. No. Let's no. be realistic. No. I mean, no. I mean, no. I mean irresponsible losers with no jobs are still going to go out there and yeah. have kids. Yeah. Yeah. And they're not going to pay child support. Vasectomies for everyone until they're 40. Oh, my friends. Everyone until they're 40 years old. Vasectomies all over. All around, everyone, it's on me. You know, Come to Canada. Well, no, bring hither the, the nail time. clippers. You can't, get, you, you can't get birth control, but we give you free abortions. Now yeah. we're into that. Yeah. Well, you got to cut down on the What's population. The difference? That's different. What's though. the difference? That's, That's different. Different. That's That's my point. That you need a license to get married, and yeah. you don't need a license yeah. to have a kid. Yeah. Is you know, you get a new no, cell reason, phone. You get a new cell phone. You read the manual. You just you're going, wow, this cell phone. I got to do this. Blah blah. You get a new kid home from the hospital. 
Yeah, good Boom. luck. Good luck, man. Okay. So who's going to no, make, make up the test? Well, yeah, who's but it's, make up it's, the it's test? not like will. Yeah. That's the problem. You will. How, <laughs> how can, can no, you're and it's root. How confusing is a baby? You feed it, you clean it, you watch it sleep. You should I come mean, over to my true. house sometime. Well, no, but I mean, I'd love to see true. you with my child. Most of the things it's with hell, kids, I think, are common sense. It's hell yeah. to have Chuck, a child. Chuck, it's, it's hell? As a, as a, as a, it's as a hell? Oh, hold on, as a single guy, Chuck finds no problem with the child. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait. <laughs> wait. I can take it. Hold on, one at a time here. Hold on. smokes joints while he does the dishes. guy who does the dishes while smoking marijuana. He's like, children are no problem. Ten years from now, they're going to have much problem. Hold on, hold on. a joint, your kids will okay, be much easier great. to deal with. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hold up. You'll be running All around right. in circles, hold too. Hold on. Give me a signal flare or something. <laughs> Jason brought up a good point about gender bias in the legal system. Let's hit that. Like, oh, obviously, my. Steve, you obviously agree with that, that the guy, the guy can't always be in the wrong, right? Are you a deadbeat dad, Steve? You know, there's a song, a uh, country song, where a guy's driving down a street and goes, hey. In a pickup truck? Yeah. <laughs> was, is, is he, is he <laughs> an alcoholic? Okay. Did his yeah, wife yeah, leave You've him? heard it. Okay. Oh. So I've he heard them all. He goes by a house. He goes, there's my house. There's the one I renovated. Renovated. There's my kids. There's my wife. Oh, there's a guy who's playing me. Right. And I go, like, what deal is that? I mean, we got to give these guys some self-respect. You're saying it as if these guys have, have been coming home every day, playing with and their kids, paying have. their mortgage, no, and then all of a sudden one morning they, they wake up and they get the boot. No, but maybe they have, Chucky. And we we'll see, that's the whole thing. That's what people are saying. Because he's out of the house, that's what I started with. Because he's out of the house, he's the guy who's, fault, who's at fault. Well, the, the legal system no. problem is still that we're, we're still in the mentality of mm -hmm. men as the provider, women as the caregiver, mm -hmm. for the most part. There's exceptions to everything. But that's the mentality we all still have. Nine, mm -hmm. nine, nine out of ten people that file for divorce are women. So right. to speak the to Steve's too, point. The thing Steve, is that when kids get to the age of 12 or 13, and if they've been with a mom that, you know, if they've been on, if something unfair has happened to them and their dad has not been a deadbeat dad, that means nothing about money. It just means that he's been around, that they have the choice to go to him. So, I, and I agree that it should, it should take that seconds. long. But usually they don't. You know why? Because they get to see their kid once a week or once every two weeks. So you never get that kind of Okay, we got to get out. Mm -hmm. So I think that's a raw deal. They're bad. They no, they're not. Nice. When we, they're, under, they're misunderstood. They're misunderstood. Okay, Steve. When we come back <laughs> okay, after so this break, Hitler. Uh, we're going to talk about homophobia. What are you afraid of, you freaks? We're coming right back. <laughs> Poor Stalin. He was just misunderstood. Pol Pot misunderstood. Hey, welcome back to Real Men. This episode, or uh, segment rather, we're going to talk about homophobia. And uh, what are you homophobic freaks so afraid of? Let's talk to Chuck on the subject. Is homosexuality wrong? Some would lead you to believe that it's against God's will. It's sin. It's not natural. You're not born that way. You choose to be gay. Because most people, given a choice, would choose to be in the minority and have people pick on them. Probably not true. Probably a genetic thing. We don't really know for sure. Nobody does. That's why we're so scared of them. If you have a homosexual encounter, does that make you gay? I mean, I defy you. I defy you to look at Jason Priestley and not feel somewhat confused. We don't know what's going on in our lives. We're just plain scared. Tim? <laughs> uh, you're making our guests nervous, I think. <laughs> that was great. Well. That's that's the way to tip it off. I'm just I'm just Jason, glad there's a ahead. woman. I'm just glad there's a woman in between he and I at this point in time right, because right. Uh, you're confusing that, that, Chuck. Hey, that hit a little close to home. <laughs> but do gay guys hit on you? Uh, do gay guys hit on me? I, no, not particularly. I mean, no more Would than. Would you know no, if you were being hit on? You know, that's another thing. You know, I just assume <laughs> that every hand that's on my ass is attached to a woman. No. Um, but maybe I just, you know, it turned around at the wrong moment. Jason, moments. you bring up a good point. Don't straight guys need a, like a hammer to the head to realize they're being hit on? Pretty sometimes? much, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah pretty much. But, but I think that probably has to do with the amount that we all drink more than <laughs> anything. True. Um, yeah, you're out and about and you've had a couple of cocktails. And... Hey, you know, yeah, man. You know, any port in a storm, you know what I'm saying? No, I, uh. uh <laughs> do you think. Does, does, is, it, is, is, is the entertainment industry a bastion that is homophobe free? Do you think, or is I, there... I, for, for the most part, I would say the entertainment industry is is is, is it's very a safer place. It's 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 a much safer place. I mean, obviously there there, there, there are so many people that are. Pardon me. Not a lot of homophobia in Broadway. No, no. no there there really the can't be. the farming community? 
the farming community? Well, yeah. well that's something I, I can't really speak to. Um, it's, 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 well, it's been a while since I worked on the potato farm, uh, on the combine. It's and, interesting, um, though, when, you, when you're in this industry, when you live in a city, a big city, you start to think that it's accepted and it's right. great and it's all a way well, of if, life. If, and if, then if, you go to a small town. Yeah. Come it's on. very different. Whoa. Hello. Yeah. But well, you know it, it becomes less of an issue if you're around it. Yes. And, yeah. and, and, and you understand that it's, people are people. They're just living their lives. But I think a lot of the fear comes from a lot of men define themselves as men by the fact that they sleep with women. Mm -hmm. That's right. what makes them men. Right. And so if you're not sleeping with women, well, what kind of man are you? Yeah, but also you're trying to define who you are. You know, it's interesting uh, in schools, like a teach school, and the worst thing a guy could call another guy a couple of years ago was you're a fag or you're gay. You know what you are now? You're a bitch. You're a whiny woman. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. is it is it like are you attack when you attack homosexuality? Are you also attacking any femininity that you might feel about yourself? Yeah, right. Well, sissy, you know? sissy, definitely bitch. Definitely, it comes from your own fear of what it is. Yeah. And the fear that you might somehow be involved in it. Right. Yeah. Some, somehow, it has to come from that. Well, but, but the reason I've been quiet this long is I'm from the theater and I've never met a, a gay person. I just feel a little. I feel a little. I feel a little out of my element. You know what makes me uh, interesting? Hosanna, weren't you Hosanna? <laughs> I think I think gay guys get the bad rap because like almost all the time they're cool guys, they're well dressed, they well, smart they got, guys, they got, they've got a job, they've got some money. Yeah. You know, right. I mean, what's better the dancers, they, they, they better have a dancers. for interior decorating. They have a great <laughs> uh, lifestyle. They start going out on Thursday night. They're yeah. on Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night. But they, they look party good hard. because they have, they, have a, time. they have a great diet plan. Because who the hell wants to eat after? You've had a hole in your mouth all day. <laughs> well, okay, a hole in your mouth. Can you say hole? I'm gonna do a hole in Can you say hole? Let's get an is, answer from the expert. I'd say in a minimum, you might not want to eat, but probably rinse. <laughs> <laughs> good mouthwash will always, you know, spend some money and get a good mouthwash. I notice fine. you're awful thin. Yeah. <laughs> is it the act? I rest my case. Is it is it the, is the guys acting feminine or is it the actual act? You know, when you think about a ha huh in your mouth or something, a ha huh up I, your you butt. Know, I don't Steve, even think, you know. Steve, hold is on. That? Yeah. You're teaching school. Yeah. Have you ever been in a classroom and you say to yourself, hey, dude in the second row has got to be a gay kid. Oh, you yeah, right that? away. Do you, yeah. do you ever yeah. see that dynamic working and, like, yeah. what, what that kid's got to go against and stuff? Oh, yeah, it's a horrible thing. It's to come out, especially in middle school, forget it. Right. And if it's in a really rough area, you're See, gone. See, and I think that's where it all sort of stems, stems from as well, is that in school they, they start to baby steps and then the kids around them start to see it and they start to pick on them. Mm -hmm. And they, they like that. That's it's, fun. And that's, that's, right? it's not, that's just not because of homosexuality. Mm -hmm. Any difference, yes, absolutely. Yes. any yeah. difference yeah. because you're trying yeah. to define yeah. who you are. Yeah. Kids, yeah. Kids, yeah. Kids, yeah. Kids, sure. kids are the cruelest people yes. on the planet. Conformity is the key yeah. because, because kids need rules. They want to go, this is what guys do, yes. this is what girls do, yes. because they're trying to define who they are too. I don't think they want rules. I think they just want to feel like they're a part of something. Part and of the group. If, and if they're a part of picking on the, the kid yes. who's different, yes. then they're a part of it's a group. But a part of the group has the certain rules though you do. You're a boy who don't, you don't go skip with the girls. The rule is you stick with the guys. So there are rules, like, well, you know, some of the boys because they need to because... The girls? Yeah, you know, but it's... You got okay. damn good eyes, you I'm know? Like, Jesus. <laughs> right. I, you know, if I go over, you are the first one. <laughs> okay, so two out of so three cute. male guests Sorry, on this show yeah. want to sleep with Jason Priestley. This all is right, what we've learned hey, Who can sleep all that we sex going on? We've got about ten on. seconds. Let's just get out on there. <laughs> I'm, I'm, you know what I'm liking? I'm more and more with Jason Priestley. Like has got everybody in a kerfuffle, I think. Hey, I don't like but, this. Uh, you become I don't know. Gay men are all right with me. We're coming back to talk about the changing face of machismo. Caveman to cowboy. Coming up. Hey, welcome back to the show. During the break, Jason and I were talking, and he was asking an a, important question. I thought, we're going to talk about cavemen to cowboy, the changing face of machismo, that kind of thing. What, what's your thoughts well, on that, well, Jason? Well, my question merely is this. Are cowboys now the <laughs> archetypal males? And if they are, i got to start buying a lot bigger hats. <laughs> i got to start wearing Wranglers, maybe some Justin Ropers, talking like this. I, well, think, uh, I think bicycle couriers are the new cowboys. Really? Wow. Oh, really? Totally. Yeah. totally. 
It's no, bicycle sure. couriers oh, yeah. are. Oh, yeah. You just like bicycle that's couriers because you can bounce quarters yeah. off their ass. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's nice. That's what I want. I want to ride a bike and swear at every guy who makes a left turn. What makes bicycle couriers so But I also think it's so sexy, Kate. Well, they're on their bikes. They're on their horses. They're covered in spandex and they're wearing dance belts. Come on, exactly. Tell them the truth. They just sort of they're they're into that walkie-talkie. They got good legs. They're great legs. They're great bodies. They're fearless. They're driving. They're going in and out of. They're beating the system. They're not in suits. They they seem to have this. And what are they bringing to you? They're making me more than this now. They all have Velcro wallets. Swearing at everybody, breaking the law. If any any of these dudes are home watching and going, hey, Kate, Dick, no, you got no hope. She's just talking. It's a show, okay? It's a show. She's going out with a banker. She's going out with a banker. She's making a point. Let's go to Ted. Ted, who do you think are the new cowboys or the? Machi the face of machismo today. The face of machismo today, man, I have no idea. I'm so out of the loop. I'm just... Yeah. I'm, I'm, Fabio. Fabio. Fabio's Fabio. 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 When, yeah. the, when the seagull hit, I think it, it, it sort of increased his... <laughs> yeah, but, the, uh, yeah. but, but it's, the, also, it's also, I think, the reason why you know, people think of cowboys as being macho is also the way they've been portrayed. When you see cowboys, you see, you know, the, the, the lone, rugged individual facing the wilderness the and Marlboro shooting bad man. guys. Yeah. Yeah. And he's having his smoke and he's cooking his beans by the fire. <laughs> they, don't show, they don't show what a cowboy really does, which he's is got essentially a for something. hang out with cows and smell like cow... Right. Crap all day. Or, I mean, that's really a, or it's a guy is. in Calgary who actually works for the oil company, mm. yeah. but wears right. the boots and yeah, the hat. But, no, but he's, but he's got a nice hat. Yeah, we, exactly. like those, we like those guys. There's a whole string. There's the cowboy, there's the cop, there's the, uh, the fireman. Well, no, 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 no. I don't think you could get the fire. 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 The firemen are the new guys. Yeah. One at a time. Yeah. One at a time. Yeah. Jason, yeah. go. Well, well, I, just, I just don't think you can compare cowboys and cops and firemen. Cops and firemen pro provide a service and, and you know, are, are supposed and to so keep us all safe. Whereas, whereas cowboys do nothing but tend their herd. You know what I mean? There's a little bit of a difference there. the cops. Yes, they used to be the cops. So the whole thing is that lone individual, the guy who's self-sufficient. What, 120 years ago? We're talking about the modern face of But we transferred the for the wild today. west. Yeah, what other example? Kate brought wait, wait, up a wait, good what does Wyatt Earp have to do with courier? today, man? Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. The bicycle courier, I thought I think, was a good I think example. Jack the Ripper has more to do with today. He Depends rang in the 20th it. century, my friend, but, not Wyatt Earp. But what, but what, did, <laughs> but what did Wyatt Why was Wyatt Earp so popular? Because he was what, a hard what, ass. What kind of qualities did he have? He's a hard ass. Where did you come from? Well, 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 that, well, that, that depends what book you read. No, it depends. No, it depends what book you read. He was. A, he was. A, he was. He was no. a guy who was who was incredibly greedy. Who went into a town and bullied his way but into the town. We're talking about a symbol. We're talking about a symbol. Well, well, no, what, oh, I thought you were asking about the reality of Wyatt. Yeah, no. you're changing no. your question. No, there, no, Steve. I'm not. I'm saying he was the symbol. He was the individual, the cowboy, anybody, any. Who was a lawman who cleaned up the and got rid of the cowboys. I never gave a rat's ass. He didn't, like he didn't, any dirty no, hair. He didn't like give that. a rat's dirty ass about like anyone that. else except for his machismo, own family. The, the reason why a lot of those roles uh, have so much machismo attached to them mm -hmm. is because traditionally they were only done by men. You know, there aren't right. that many Green Berets who are women. So Green Berets right. are seen as very machismo because it's a guy yeah. thing. Yeah. Right. And, and as, as we lose that, as women go into more and more roles, which, you know, they're welcome to try. Like cow Try! <laughs> like, try! Well, like, there's not many women that women can pass the green ring right, right. 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 physical. No, they still got a barrel race. Sorry. Well, no, I just think as, as, as more and more women go into those roles, there's fewer and fewer places where you can find just men. Do you ever think that I like guys, these. do you ever think guys will have a, women, a woman as a role model? Do you ever think guys what? You know, we'll have like they want to uh, aspire to be as good as she was or she is. I, I think that you guys know? have women as role models silently all the time. Mm. I think they've had a, a teacher or they had Maggie Thatcher. Maggie Thatcher. She comes to my or... So does Hitler. So does Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think uh, Ted, yes. everything comes back to Hitler. Right? I think Ted is playing his sarcasm card again. <laughs> <laughs> no one ever gets it, though. I'm a little worried. I get a Ted ball game. I'm with you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you're in the couch a lot. I want to hear what I love. We're Kate, isolating I, you. Hold on now. Hold on now. I liked what Kate said about the bicycle courier. Are there any other examples that good of a Today guy that's... Jason, anything off the top of your head? Who's, you know, like that kind of guy? Like she said, railing against the system. Laughing right. in the face of danger. Uh, Who else is doing? Laughing in the face stars. of danger. Uh, <laughs> Breaking the law. Uh, Brett Michaels uh, from Poison. Um, uh, <laughs> extreme uh, sports. Extreme sports. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, what, uh, Tony Hawk, whatever his yeah. name is. Yeah, you know? maybe. I guess. I, Those kids, like, they used to be, when we skateboarded, we found a smooth paved hill, you know. Now they're not happy unless they're nutsing themselves on a railing in front of the bank, you know. Mm -hmm. That's true. And, uh, that's I true. Can, and that's why the big pants is also my theory, because they can be cut off and emerge. I don't like, so I, don't know any, <laughs> I don't know anybody who kids look up to now. 
like sports, even the sports figures. You know, and also when they say that, they go, oh, Vince Carter is a role model. He's a role model. He's not a role model. A this pet. kid's not going right. to be the best basketball player in the world and make millions of dollars. He can't. Sure like, he is. Sure he is. No. The kids no. still look no. up to if all kids, We got to get out of here. But lots of kids are looking up to Vince Carter. But sure what good does it do them? They're oh. never going to have time. what he has. We're out of time for How this segment know? on Real Men. And we're going to come back with one more. Because you can't all be the best Jason basketball player in the world. Jason Priestley's in the house. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Well, that's just going to talk. During the break, Chuck Byrne and Ted Dykstra were getting into it a little bit, so I want to pick that up. What were you guys talking about? Well, I just sort of said that I've heard a lot about athletes being role models for, for inner city kids, and, and I guess there's something about it, but really, sure. most inner city kids are not going to become Vince Carter. I mean, but they're not not—they're not the best basketball players you still in the world. Need, you still but need to be yeah. able to look up to someone. Because sure. you don't Vince have... Carter might not consider himself a role model, mm -hmm. but to a lot of kids who like playing basketball, he is one. Sure. And, you know, Michael Jordan at some point had somebody who he looked up to in the basketball world. Will Wayne, Gre yeah. 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 Wayne Gretzky. Okay, so if you're going to become a basketball yeah. player, it's good to look up to one, is but what it's we've good learned to, here. It's good to, I think one that, may well, inspire you to become one as well. That's it. But I can't play basketball. I'm too short. Yeah, but some... I'm a short little Dutch guy. Yeah, but hey, wait, hey, wait, I can't man. play Come basketball. On. Steve Kerr. Bud there's tons of short Bud white Z guys in the NBA. Yeah. Yeah. Five of them. Bud not yeah, Spud Webb. There's five know, or six. Who are Come we? on. These guys are heroes. Spud Webb's not a short yeah, white yeah, guy. Totally. Steve Nash. <laughs> I don't think they're heroes. I think they're they're overpaid guys who are playing a kid sport. And if you want to inspire to be that, it's one thing. But for a role model, come on. Well, Dude, no, get, no, get, no. Your father, get a teacher should be a role should model. Be. You can't pick a should be. Should be. Guys, but I that's think, our problem I because there's so much advertising the guests going on. I think that being paid millions and millions of dollars to play a game that you'd play for free, right. anyway, that's something to aspire to. Yeah, yeah. yeah I agree. Very much. Yeah. I mean, come on. Yeah. How many hours did we all spend on the pond playing shinny? If I get paid $8 million a year to do that for, for 82 games a year, <laughs> well, yeah. we're, we're sitting, I just wish I was good enough. Paid to bitch. Right yeah. You know, most people, you know, yeah. don't get to do that in their job. Yeah. Right, right, right. We got about 15 seconds. Any last uh, so questions I, for hey, look, Jason? Well, I, 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 want, I want to go back to Tell me about Shannon Doherty. The hell with everything. No, no, no. I want to go back to what we were talking about before about. Um, uh, 10 seconds. About, about, about the gay thing and how we were talking about gay men. And, mm -hmm. and really, I mean, I, I think we're all in a consensus, a consensus here that none of us really care about, about anyone's yeah. sexual orientation. No. It's probably the most boring thing about a person. Sure. I think we're it's all what nicely said, said and that's all the time yeah. we have. Yeah. Thanks yeah. to Jason Priestley for <laughs> popping in. in Tune in to next time on Real Men when <laughs> men get real. Or words to that effect. <laughs> <laughs> Keep on watching. You know, keep on watching.